And the whole team, one or two shots from coach Arthur Bunting there. James Lulawai following his dislocated shoulder back in the side. But no place for Gary Schofield, the Great Britain centre. Steve Evans is preferred. They've played together now for two or three weeks. Just John Ferguson flew back from Australia this week to take up his position on the wing at number two. The fellow countryman Brett Kenny at standoff. He'll be making the play for the backs. Produced in the amateur game. And doesn't Brett Kenny look so casual? He looks confident. Well, he's probably used to the big occasion, this Australian test standoff. Played all over the world. Well, I don't know whether Brett Kenny wants to play. He doesn't look interested, but I'm sure up beneath that casual air, there are some nerves. Driving in. Sterling, all good cross ball to Crooks. Oh! Just on the line. Yard from the line, hold in on the attack. Sterling again. Arcoy back to Sterling. But he's doing everything this little lad. Muggleton. Gary Campbell, he's got a 2 to 1 situation. Kevin James, and he's in. First try of the match. Kevin James took his opportunity well. But I think it was engineered by Peter Sterling. Kept the ball going, moving it out. But Kevin James was on hand, spotted the gap. Well, this is they've been threatening to do this all the time. Oh, look at the little man again. Peter Sterling slips the ball out here to Muddleton, who throws the ball out here to Gary Campbell. Gary Campbell draws Emerson Gill. Perfect timing, Kevin James. What a way to celebrate first being appearance at Wembley. And the sixth tackle coming up. Back to Kenny. Oh, good ball to Ferguson. Oh, he's been too many. He can run this ball. A spectacular run. Oh, but an equally spectacular tackle from Gary Campbell. Ten yards now from the whole line. Six tackle. Four. Looking for Kenny. Back to Potter. To Ferguson again. They're looking for this man, the danger. And he's in. What a majestic piece of rugby. He got the ball in a standing position. Brilliant sidestep, as they say in the north, they could sidestep on a trip and bit this lad. Wonderful piece of rugby. Well, 13,000 miles, and was it worth it? Brett Kenny has the ball here, he just holds the ball, he shakes off a tackle here. Good thinking from Ian Potter here. A long ball to John Ferguson, just watch the shimmy, leaves Dan O'Hara for dead, flies round him, 13,000 miles. I think the Wigan fans will think this trip is very well worth it. Uh, you cannot go into a Wembley final without uh, an experienced goal kicker. And I wonder at the end of the day, will that kick of David Stevenson uh, really count or will it be very important? Well, this, this man certainly come from Australia, not for a holiday. He's determined to get into the game, John Ferguson. To West. To Kenny. Oh, good ball from Kenny. He's got space. Can he make it all the way? He's going round Gary Campbell. And he does. Superb try from Brett Kenny. He took the one chance that's been offered him so far, showed the pace, and a wonderful moment for those Wigan fans. This is absolutely world-class, a beautiful ball here from your Michael Ford, and this is rugby league at its very best. This is the number one in the world, and this is one of the number one tries. What a great try, and what a big occasion. What an absolute... No wonder this man was sulking and had his hands in his pockets. I bet he's jumping with joy now. Not good professional tactics here from Wigan, taking the ball in front of the post. Normally a side would take it away from the post to avoid any goal kicks. Oh, beautiful ball from Kenny, which puts Stevenson in space with Gill outside him. He's only got Campbell, the fullback to beat. He's got the strength, he's got the speed, and he's beaten him. Oh, as good a try as we'll see. Oh, man, behind us and Gale by that beautiful pass from Ke Kenny. We said at the beginning about that man's silken skills. Henderson Gill going all the way. Tremendous run. And just look at the grin on that. A feast of rugby. But I'm sure Brett Kenny there. That's the man he owes that try to. Having a word with him. But there's the Hooter. And a satisfactory half from Henderson Gill. Wigan in the lead. 16 points to 8. A tremendous piece of rugby there. Henderson Gill got the balance, got the strength, and just look at the speed that he shows there, determination. There's nobody going to stop me, says Henderson.
It's a try all the way. Covering from Gary Kemble. And remember that this lad Kemble, he can run. But a despairing dive. And it's sheer strength, I think, that takes Gill through. Pounds away, the size of those thighs. And he's over. No problems. For Wigan. And he does. He gets it. Oh, beautiful dummy from Kenny. He's got Sean Edwards linking up with him. Has he got the legs to the line? And he has. Oh, tremendously well worked try. Youngster Sean Edwards spotting the gap. The run around movement. Setting those Wigan fans in raptures. I don't think they can believe the quality of the play. Well, you just talk about class, and this is what it is. This is absolutely sheer class. You'll never see a better standoff in the country if you've ever seen one. Little Sean Edwards, he loved this. He's pleased with this. He's only 18, and I'll tell you what, he'll always treasure this one. Yes, and all credit to that youngster, Sean Edwards. The youngest player last season to play at Wembley. Back again this year for revenge. And 20 points to eight for Wigan. Oh, Fainley trying to get back into the game. Crooks looking for support, but the whole forwards just not backing up like the Wigan contingent. Peter Sterling is going to go. He can make it himself if he goes. Oh, good try to Evans. Yes. I thought Peter Sterling was going himself. Steve Evans a little disgruntled about that. That tackle by Brian Dunn. And good referee there. Well, we've got Mr. Magic on one side, and what can you say about this? This fella must be the best scrum half in the world. They've also got the best standoff. Just look at this for class. Knows he can't get there himself, but he holds the ball and releases it. And for Steve Evans, who have the easiest of chances. To Steve Knoll. Sterling. Oh. Oh, and Ferguson's got the ball. He's got away. He scampers home, no problem. And another four points to Wigan. What an opportunist this man is. Picked the ball up from nowhere. And he set the Wigan contingent to light. Edwards there. Well, Dana Wilder's having an absolute nightmare. He should have picked this ball up, but you don't give this fella these kind of chances. Just watch him go. Gary Campbell almost gets to him, but is this fella determined him? What a great wingman, and what a very, very, very good try. He's not satisfied with that. He goes round the post as well. But good rugby from Hull, Sterling. from the Wigan line Steve North looking for the short pass he gets it and he's in yes James Lulawai Sean Edwards was worried about crossing but a lovely piece sleight of hand puts Hull for getting the Hull fans well it's a very good try by Hull a lovely ball out here to Stevie Norton who, who loves this ball out here just uses a foil, Paul Rose comes crashing on top of the ball, he's a big man this, just draws in John Ferguson and slips a lovely ball out to James Lulalai for a very simple chance. Sean Patrick, full crowd roaring them on, this is the time they must score, Sterling looking for the try himself. Oh. John Muggleton just mistimed his run coming up. Muggleton. To Devote, is he in? Yes, he is! Quick play the ball, substitute Gary Devote. 19 years of age, come on, hold that banner, says. And they're coming back, we thought they were down. Well, is this going to be a grandstand finish or not? Hold the same, we might be down, but we're certainly not dead. Quick play the ball here, a lovely ball from Peter Sterling. Devote shakes off one tackle, and he's the right back in the game. Five minutes gone, can hold do it. minutes to go, Bull certainly now looking to be moving this ball out but only one side have ever come back from a 10 point deficit, that was Leeds but can Hull do it, oh yes and Lulawai is going straight through, he's taking everybody by surprise a tremendous try oh the game now is alive what more could we want we wondered whether Hull could do it and here they are showing us well, are we going to see this finish? What a game this is. This must be one of the best cup ties that's ever been at Wembley. There's a quick play of the ball here. 
John Muddleton gets up, plays the ball quickly. Just now, Gary Schofield whips the ball out here to James Lulai. He absolutely blisters onto this ball, and this is another class try. If we had a try of the season, we'd have them all in these games. Just watch him. I think he will be a little bit disappointed. He's not gone near the post, but have we got a turning point? With an injury time, it's going to take a 78 yard try to do it. But hold on, the Stars capable of doing it. Cooks moving it to the wings. Ball to Akoi. Now he's got Steve Evans. Beef one man. He's beaten two men still going. Oh, and there's the hooter. What a game. My well, the Wigan players leap in the earth. An incredible match. 28 points to 24 for Wigan. And I don't think they can believe it. That last chance from Steve Evans. The cover just got him. But let's give credit to both teams. And Henderson Gill, he's delighted, he's overjoyed. And Nick Dutoy, the substitute. Henderson Gill in tears there, looking at the crowd. And Wigan, for the first time for 20 years, have got the cup back at Central Park, Wigan. Wigan on the way to receive the cup. And I'm sure many people... We'll be thinking back to 1951 when a New Zealander, Cess Mumford, last received the cup for Wigan. And here is one of his products, a man that Cess Mumford, the old Wigan captain, coached. Graham West, all six foot five of him, being presented with the Silk Cup Challenge Cup trophy by the Earl of Derby. And what a way to celebrate the 50th Wembley. Tremendous roll for Graham West. They've waited 20 years for this. 40,000 of them travelled down from Lancashire. And it's been worth waiting for. Customer in raising of the cup for the team. Neil Courtney. And Graham West. Looking for something in the crowd. Possibly his wife. We've done it, he says.